two, one. Welcome to my GCSC. Today we'll be discussing biology chapter two, classification and diversity of living organisms. Uh, in this part, we will be talking about uh, section 2.1, concepts and use of the classificatory system. In this section, in this short segment, we will be talking about the binomial system. First off, it wants you to describe the binomial system. Simply, you can say it's a system in which of naming species is a system in which the scientific name of an organism is made up of two parts, showing the genus and species. Why do we use the binomial system? To give a universal name to all organisms. Because in one country, a wolf might be called something different from another country. So when two scientists are discussing an organism, they want to be on the same page. And to do that, they use the universal system of the binomial system, uh, which is composed of the organism's genus, which the first letter is capitalized, capitalized, and species, in which the first letter is lowercase. A quick example, when we're talking about the wolf, the official name the binomial system gives to it is Canis and Lupus. This is all one name composed of two parts, the genus and the species. I've underlined the capital C here because you must always remember that the genus, the genus's first letter, is capitalized, whereas the species first letter is lowercase. Many kids get this wrong in the tests. This question's similar to this wrong simply because they write the uh, species uppercase or they write the genus and the species lowercase. Uh, just n a quick note, pay attention. After that, um, for anyone studying the supplement, all you need to know is that there are other classification si systems uh, such as cladistics based on RNA and DNA sequencing. Um, don't worry about that question too much. Kids don't find it in paper three or paper six. It's mainly in paper one multiple choice. Uh, it just asks you, give another type of uh, classification besides binomial and you quickly have an answer, cladistics. Uh, for this segment, that's about it. I uh, hope you've learned something new or regained knowledge that you already had. Thank you. Study hard.